Well, this is a ultrasound of a 35 years old female got operated for gallbladder calculi. So that is, cholecystectomy was performed two months back and uh, she's having constant pain and fever with rigors since then. And uh, she has been sent for ultrasound after two months uh, of the surgical intervention in Kamuki Gujaramala. Now you see that uh, in this uh, view, you can see this is the portal vein, and these are the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. Liver is normal. Amidiaphragm, right amidiaphragm is normal, no fluid above it. This is an IBC in transfer section, this small cystic area. Now this is a cystic area, this one with irregular outline and uh, echoes within it, echogenic areas within it. And uh, uh, this is uh, what we are seeing in this, uh, in this particular view. So this is the portal vein. This is uh, sludge, thick sludge. This appears to be a fold, thick fold. And uh, they see the outer margin of the uh, of the gallbladder. Sorry, of the operated gallbladder. It appears as an irregular bag of uh, fluid with the uh, sludge and a few tiny calculi. This is one of them not giving posterior shell. And these are the dilated depths. By depths. This is the liver. This area is the liver. This is the liver. This uh, uh, cystic area in the region of the gallbladder fossa extends medially and uh, is seen up to the extending medially whereas the intrahepatic bile ducts can be seen dilated up to uh, the left lobe of the liver as well as involved. The bile ducts run up to the periphery of the liver. You see, they, they can be seen up, running up to the periphery of the liver. These are dilated intrahepatic bile ducts in the left lobe of the liver. This is the transfer section of the left lobe of the liver in front of you now. And this is the longitudinal section of the left lobe of the liver. This is a uh, uh, portal vein at the region of the porta hepatis. Now, note in this uh, view that uh, it's, despite effort, it's not possible to get the common bile duct. So possibly the common bile duct has uh, a, this is in fact the portal vein and this is the hepatic artery longitudinal section. This is the uh, 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 cystic area in the region of the gallbladder fossa. Uh, it's a distal line where we don't see any uh, intra uh, the uh, bile duct at all. So maybe the bile duct has been, uh, there has been stitched, has been placed lower down in the, has been blocked by the surgeon during surgical intervention, leading to this uh, bag, irregular bag of fluid 
in the region of uh, in the region of the Golbert of Fosa with no dilation seen that of the common bile duct. This is a thick septa within it and in the dependent region we can see a sludge and few tiny capsuli within it. And this measures 10 centimeters by 7.3 centimeters. This bag of fluid with the sludge, with tiny calcifications, and with thick septa septations. This is a very thick septa within it. This is another septa within this cystic area. So. Uh, you can see the irregularity. This fluid like fluid fluid structure. Extends medially. This is the area. With lymphopathic wild ectasia. Now this is a area of uh, ecogenic island with no shadowing, maybe a sludge, <coughs> uh, sludge ball and this is the photo vein. These are the delicate bile ducts. And this is the pathway for fluid in the region of the called Bedrofosa. These are the septas, thick septas. Now the outer surface. This is the middle hepatic vein, in fact, uh, coursing the uh, uh, anterior region of the anterior wall of the, this uh, bag of tissue, the anterior wall of which measures uh, 3.8 millimeters. And this is the area of study, which is a bag of fluid in the region of the gallbladder fossa with debris in the you see, this is all debris and uh, septas within it, thick walls with debris and with dependent region sludge. within it, whereas the, this is the pancreas, now we have to see the pancreas, this must be seen on all cases, no evidence of uh, pancreatic involvement, however, this is the, this band of tissue is the pancreas body, this is the head of the pancreas, this is the splenic vein, this is the spirometric vein, and this tiny slit like tubular structure is the pancreatic duct. This one. And this is the uh, well demarcated bag of uh, fluid in the region of the Golden Fossa. And these are the dilated intrahepatic fibers. So it will not be surprising say that uh, maybe because of the pressure, there can be two possibilities here. One, the pressure uh, uh, from this bag, fluid filled bag on the uh, common bile duct at the region of porta hepatis. Here, this is the bag of tissue with every at the region of porta hepatis is, uh, is pressing the 
common bile duct when extended that it's leading to intrahepatic bile duct ectasia. Second is that maybe during surgical intervention the common bile duct has been ligated distally and this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.